Hey there, so this is my Rook 2020 Mark 1. I. I designed this um, for Rolohan. This is my personal build. It's a little bit different from the, uh, the stock build. The um, build that I have uses 300 extrusions instead of 200 extrusions. Gives me uh, about 100 millimeters more on Z that I prefer so I can print taller stuff. Uh, with that, I also have 300 millimeters rods uh, for the bed. Other than that, the um, you can desi decide your own uh, Z height just by changing your Z extrusions and your rods to whatever you want. This features a um, bottom enclosure for your electronics. There's room for a um, motherboard. Uh, this one has an SKR Mini. That's the default, but you can convert that to anything you want. It also has plenty of room for a Pi, any Pi you need. It features a geared belted Z, 4 to 1, so the bed won't drop, as people previously didn't like about this. Belt system on top is the exact same as the Rook and the Rook 2020. Very basic but simple belts uh, setup. And for a build size this small, it, it's more than enough. Uh, we try to keep this build as simple as possible uh, while giving you the, the good features of Core XY and, and a reasonably fast printer. This printer can do about 200 to 250 millimeters a second, um, mostly limited by part cooling. Uh, my normal speed settings are about between 100 and 200, depending on inner and outer walls and infill and stuff. Um, it does a perfect benchy at about 20 minutes. With more cooling, I could probably cut that in half. My personal record for a benchy on this printer is about 7.5 minutes. Um, but it doesn't look as great. Um, I, I prefer print quality instead of just pure speed. So my my decent settings are about a 20, 20 minute benchy has perfect um, results. The um, printer has an adjustable Z belt on top instead of just moving the motor at the bottom. There's adjustable uh, A and B motors um, belts from on the motors. Uh, it's very simple setup. It's actually a mod for the 2020 and a normal Rook that we implemented into this by said on the Discord. And this is a relatively simple build. Uh, it's it's a frame with some printed parts. the ex The entire printer was designed so that you can print this on itself. So all the bigger pieces, uh, like the bottom and the uh, bed frame are printable on a smaller printer and then you can bolt them together and uh, you, this way you can upgrade your uh, Rook, your normal Rook to a Rook 2020 by just having a Rook and getting an, a frame. As you can see this is used to be my number 100 um, Fabrico build. Uh, so this is converted from a Mark 1 to a 2020 Mark 1 just with the additional frame and the pieces for the belted Z. So there's a little bit more, there's a couple of different parts that you need for a belted Z compared to the normal Rook. I'm using my Sentinel uh, printhead uh, and an HGX light um, that I have a re review for, mini review on this channel. Um, I'm really happy with this setup because I, it has this balance between speed and quality um, and reliability. This just works. I can take it to a friend's house and just press print. I don't have to do any adjustment. I don't have to level any beds. I'm using my uh, magnetic probe mod for the Sentinel, which gives me auto battle leveling and 
it just works. Um, there's nothing that this needs right now uh, other than a screen. Uh, I'll come back to that later. So as you can hear, this is my normal print speeds. Um, I'm printing a um, Orca Slicer cube right now, just like this one. Um, I'll be showing you some different views of the printer, some close-ups, uh, and go through piece by piece um, why I design things and uh, what you need to build this. The full lists and all the links are in the description down below. This printer is on printables. Um, we use printables instead of GitHub. Uh, now, it just makes it easier. And yeah, let's go a little bit closer and let's uh, let's look at some of the details, especially the Z. I know some people are wondering about the the gear Z on this. So here's the back of the printer. As you can see, we have a 80 tooth pulley that drives another 20 tooth pulley in here. And that's driven by this uh, 20 tooth pulley that's attached to the motor. So in technically, you can change your gearing by changing these three uh, pulleys. Uh, that does require you to change this belt. But this uh, 4 to 1 setup is perfect. Uh, you can have about half a kilo of filament on there and it won't drop. The, um, the benefit of this is that, as I said, the bed won't drop. The other one is that you get a much higher resolution, resolution on Z. This makes perfect sense on a small printer like this. You can have super small layer heights. I've tested um, 0 0.05 at this point and the prints are fantastic. It takes forever, but they are fantastic. It's about as close as you can get to a resin print uh, using an FDM printer. Uh, you can also see that I'm using an external power supply. It's a power, an 8 amp power brick. And I have my own custom mod uh, for routing the belts, uh, the, sorry, the wires. And I, I did this just because I wanted it nice and neat. Only the bed wire is not, there's not much that I can do without um, getting cable chains and all that stuff, but I, I don't like them. So on the side here, I have a 120 fan. This is a prototype right now. I'm working on a version that is adjustable uh, for your uh, different hot end and tool head setups because they... Um, they vary slightly on height. So this does not work, but I have one coming soon. As you see, there is nothing cluttering up this printer. It's a really clean looking build. Let me just move my filament. And you, you can move this around quite easily. It's highly portable. Like I said, I take this to friends' houses and, and print small stuff for them. Uh, it's a nice little party piece. Or if you want to go somewhere other than your workshop and do small prototypes, rapid prototyping, this is perfect for that. The um, electronics underneath are all um, attached to this bottom plate. This can be printed in one big piece, or as I've done for smaller pieces. Uh, you can easily customize the logos as you want. Uh, this particular logo over here is the only one there by default. So I've added my sponsor logo, my own logo, and of course Fabrico that provided me with the parts to build this printer. So let's flip it and see underneath. So here's the underneath. I have an SKR Mini and space for a um, Big Tree Tech Pi that I don't have yet. It's coming. So right now it's running off of my laptop that you can see on the wall. Um, there's plenty of space for 
any pie. Uh, you could probably fit most of the pie options out there except for computers and laptops. Um, there's no bottom cover. Um, I don't see why you would need one just because it's you would have to lift it to touch anything. But um, there's a there's plenty of room in here for your electronics except your power supply. I prefer a an external power supply on my Rooks. So there's the best way to have an, a normal power supply on this would probably be on one of the sides or the back. There's plenty of room. There's nothing there. And as you can see, it's um, it's still printing. Works great. Um, I often just move this around in the workshop. Um, not really an issue when it comes to prints. <clears throat> so let's go to the tool head and look a little bit deeper on that one. So here's the uh, tiny little printable area on the Rook. This is using a Voron D0 bed, 120 by 120. The um, tool head right now is a Sentinel uh, with my magnetic probe mount. Um, works great as long as you have a metal PEI sheet. I'm using an HGX light. This tool head supports any Sherpa size extruder. You can also use the Rookery tool head um, by Gulsifer. Um, it's a Bowden setup. You might be able to get a little bit more speed out of it. Some high accelerations. And also there's a um, 4020 and a 5015 fan version of that. That should give you superior part cooling than what the Sentinel can do. My particular print is made from a mix of ASA, ABS, and carbon fiber BTG. The um, and anything that touches a bearing uh, on this printer is carbon fiber PTG. Everything else is ABS and ASA. So this is the back of your printer. The um, motors are using SEDS um, tensioning mod. Um, what you do is you un you loosen these four bolts uh, just a tiny bit. You use this bolt to tighten and pull your motor back, and then you re-tighten these and loosen this one. So this one doesn't hold tension; it's just used for getting the tension. It works great, super simple. The tension for Z is done with this one. Um, so you actually loosen your main couplers these two uh, M5 bolts and then you use these four M3 bolts to raise up your idler and the reason for four is that you have the option to tilt it if you need to. Uh, I'm only using the front two and it works great. You might be, be able to just not use these two back ones but they're there if you need them. So let's talk a little bit about why you should build a rook. The um, the Rook is not the cheapest option out there. Um, you can get an Ender 3 or other Ender clones for even cheaper than this. Uh, the main reason if you want to build this is for the process. If you want a your first Core XY build, you want uh, something different than what everyone else has. Um, you want to do something on your own. This is what you're looking for. Um, this is not a co competing printer to the Voron V0. Uh, the Voron V0 has a different level of engineering. This is a simplified Core XY machine with the same uh, build volume. This is much much simpler than a V0 and, and Depending on what parts you buy and the type of quality you buy, um, 
it, it might actually be the same price as a Voron. If you just go for high-end components, this is the same price as a Voron V0. If you go for cheaper components, self-source or the kits, this is a cheaper option. Um, the prints that this can produce are pretty much perfect. You have these uh, really good looking prints, nice and smooth. So this can do rapid prototyping, uh, giving the, the, uh, the Core XY setup, you can go really fast. You can do some really good looking prints. Um, this is a 20 minute benchy. Um, you can do super fine layers. This is a 0 0.05 layer print. You can do practical stuff. I have a phone mount. Ignore the fact that the part cooling wasn't on full, so a little bit of drooping. But for practical prints, this is perfect. This is pretty much maxing out my build volume. A nice uh, little vase print. Um, this is done with a uh, 0.8 millimeter wall on a 0.4 nozzle, so you really crank up that flow uh, to get a nice and solid print. This is PLA. Um, it's really good for um, detailed prints. This is uh, 0.1 layers. Uh, really gets smaller models the uh, the details that it needs. You can also do bigger prints like this um, Anakin Skywalker Darth Vader model that I've done. This is at point two. This is done with my speed settings, so the same settings as this Benchy. I did this. Um, about a six and a half hour print in two parts. Um, I've done this katana twice. Uh, works perfect. Looks great at 0.2 layers. Functions. This can also do PTG. And if you're like me and you put this in a box, it also does ABS, ASA, and a couple of other different um, filaments. I've tested uh, ABS and ASA, and it works great at about a 40, 45C uh, chamber temp. So yeah, this has um, been my Rook. I'm super happy with this Rook 2020 Mark I. Uh, it just the belted Z changed everything. Um, it made it more stable, easier to work on. The uh, print quality has improved because the belts uh, stabilized the bed, the, the geared belts. And this is pretty much where I'm going to leave the um, Rook 2020. I only need to fix this uh, 120 blower. I want a better version of that. So that's coming up next. And after that, I'm moving on to a different project. So that's been my video on my Rook 2020. I hope this helped answer some questions and giving you an overview. The full um, CAD for this is on printables. I'll leave a link down in the description. So you can look at this without having any um, CAD software. You can uh, just open it in your browser and have a full view of the entire build as is. Um, if you like this video, please hit the uh, the like, the thumbs up um, button, subscribe. That would really help me moving forward into creating more videos. And thank you.